Now I got this at an insane deal. When this came on the market two years ago, it was $3,500. If you go to like B&H um, or Best Buy, this will retail for $2,500 minimum. I got it for $1,998, under two grand. Now with tax, it was like $2,022. $2,022. That is crazy for this. Now the Sony A7 III was $1,790, so $1,800. This was only $150, $200 more. I have been deciding between the A7 III and the A7R III. And the big sway in my decision was because um, after I edited a few photos that came from a Sony a7R 3 thanks to um, a photographer on Instagram that I follow, Alexander the Great, or Alex Stemple, I think is his name, and I edited, you know, one of the photos and I posted it on my Instagram right here. And throughout the editing process, I, I just fell in love with the quality of the picture. The 42 megapixels is what really got me because with the AC500, which has the same megapixels as the Sony A7 III, I was, I was just, I was dumbfounded by the detail. You know, being able to crop in onto the face and having all that, and having that much detail, it swayed me, and I knew that I had to make the switch because, you know, I'm both a photographer and a videographer. Okay, so that's reason number one was the 42 megapixels. Reason number two. Because it was only a hundred, two hundred dollars, it was only two hundred dollars more than the Sony A7 III. I knew that having the megapixels was worth the two hundred dollars. You know, realistically, I it's it's an insane deal. This should not be available for under two grand. It's that good of a camera, and I haven't even used it yet. I just have read reviews, I've seen pictures and videos. I know how good this camera is. And I probably won't truly know until I actually test it. So thank you for watching. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe right there. And I'll see you in the next video.